Stormwind will tremble before Tamsin All right, so we're Rome. up against Warrior. If they curve out, it's really hard. But if they don't, it's a fiesta for Quest Warlock. So typically, I want my early turn minions. Okay, we don't have them, so that's pretty bad, but there's not much damage on turn 2 from a quest warrior going first. So we could afford to hero power this. Okay, blood shard bristleback is nice. Okay. Hero power, touch of the Nahrazim is also acceptable. Hmm. Yeah, let's heal. Uh, sometimes I wait for the Tamsin Rome, but sometimes you just don't get to it, so. In this case, I chose to heal early. Next turn, we could have Netheron. Okay, that's quite painful. Should I force a Netheron? I guess I could still do. Oh wait, that was a misplay. Ah, now I can't on this run. Oh, I suck at this game. Sorry. No matter. Um, I guess I could alter fire now. I mess up the Netheron play anyway. Nice, we got Mr. Smite. I love it. Okay, just the Baron Scavenger is something I didn't want milled, but the rest are okay. Hector, you kill all don't kill both of them. That's okay. He's going go face. I don't know. Glory. I'm here for the gold. That is fast. Okay, we get touch, which is nice. So heard of me. Could heal quite a lot here. I think that was the right order. Still in part one of the quest though. By all the ill-gotten gold! Hopefully there's no one drop pirate, so Rokara is delayed. Wretched story. Yes. Okay. No. okay, I could flesh giant soul ren. Um, here about our soul ren flesh giant. Double flesh giant. Oh, that is so good. Oh wow, that is perfect. Okay, wow. This looks good. Aw, save for the brish Bristleback. If I soul rendered first before Hero Power, I would have gotten Bristleback. And then plop these down, but I wouldn't have known. I just win, right? Yeah, I just win. There's no way you play around this. All right, so I, I still I misplayed, but still managed to win. This deck is so powerful. Just try it out. 
Um, this is my own list. I made this at a random, like, I said, what's a good quest warlock deck post nerf? And then I just put in a bunch of random stuff. I don't even have the, the giant gnolls, but it's working really, really well. So I got here from 5,000, 6,000 legend almost. So yeah, hope you get to use this deck and pilot it better than me. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to make a comprehensive guide of Quest Warlock. This is actually pretty hard to do because there are a lot of popular decks right now and sometimes I don't run into them in a day, so that's that. But I could make some about control matchups. Uh, basically, for control matchups, for example, you want to keep Altar of Fire almost all the time. Uh, sometimes you're not sure if a class is control, but for example, you run into Priest, most likely Priest is control. You run into Warlock, mostly Warlock is control or a quest deck and you want Altar of Fire for that. But if you're up against a mirror, which would happen a lot, I still think you should keep Altar of Fire even though if it helps them go to fatigue early. But you know, some quest Warlocks today don't run the Giants package, some don't run the Baron Scavenger. So I think it's still okay to keep Altar of Fire because it'll be doing you or Using this deck, you more good than bad if you play Altar of Fire early. For aggro matchups, you want to keep anything that heals. You want Touch of the Natrizim, you want Drain Soul. If you have one of those cards in Tamsin Rome, I suggest you, you keep Tamsin Rome, especially on the coin. Um, going first, maybe not. And also, I'd like to keep one Blood Shard Bristleback just in case I might mill it. Sometimes if you alter fire, two of them get hit and you don't have ways to heal for six. So sometimes I keep that if like I'm facing Hunter or you know, even Paladin. Um, yeah. Paladin could be a tricky matchup. Sometimes they curve out real good. Sometimes they have the perfect pump for their minions. So it's a bit of a tough matchup. I suggest you keep something like Soul Rend. Soul Rend is really good against them. And against Paladin, or against basically most decks that are not hyper aggro, you want to get to 10 cards in your deck really early. And that's the thing you want to go win with the Scavengers or the Giants. I think that's a good enough generalization. Uh, one thing to note it is quite hard to deal exact 8 damage to yourself for each of the 3 parts of the quest. So sometimes you will overdo it by 1, especially if you hero power 3 times for 6 damage and then you backfire. Um, sometimes you could do exact stuff like either backfire plus raise dead plus a hero power or interchanging the, the 3 damage to self cards. But yeah, um, it, it could be pretty tricky. You need a deck tracker or at least you need to keep track, especially when you're going fatigue because, for example, if you're going to Dreadlick Tamsin late in the game, you want to compute for the exact time you're going to finish part 3 of the quest. If you overdo it, you might just lose. You want almost exact damage to part 3 of your quest when you're going to, into fatigue. I think that's pretty much it. Um, we'll just play some gameplay videos and I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again next time.